Hello there. Today we're talking about top five items on my wish list. That's right, I have a wish list and I have five items on it. Now, I don't really believe in holy grails. That's why it's not a holy grail list. To me, a holy grail is really something that's completely impossible to get, something that's mythical. Having said that, my number one item is a holy grail. So make sure you stay to the end to find out what that is. Now, I have here some items on the turning table thing. This is one for your visual pleasure so that you have something to look at whilst I'm waffling on. And two, each one of these items has a link to one of my wish list items, even to that holy grail item. Now, what does it all mean? What kind of link can there be? What kind of clues are these giving away? Well, you'll just have to watch to find out, won't you? So with that, let's get on with it. Get those wonderful toys. Screaming in at number five, we have the Battle Damaged X-Ring from Palatoy. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, Simon, there's an X-Ring. There's an X-Ring. I can see it. It's right there. Look, look, it's right there. Simon, Simon, there's an X-Ring already there on the Tony Table thing. And yes, you are absolutely right. But this one has no battle damage. So um, this one does not count. This one is actually, I believe, one of the earlier versions that came, obviously, without the battle damage. Or it's one of the very rare battle damaged x-wings that does not have the stickers applied so the reason why i want a battle damaged version is because it was the first ever star wars vehicle that i had when i was a little kid which you can see from this photo from um, oh i think that was christmas 1982 maybe 1981 and um yeah as you can see that was my first X-Wing, and that is why I want it back in my collection. The problem with those X-Wings are is, although there's lots of them available online, they're very hard to find complete, in good condition, not gone yellow, and at a reasonable price. So there you go, that's number five, the battle-damaged Palatoy X-Wing. And flying into position number four, we have the Kenner Mask Fire Force. And I know what you're thinking, that's a Manta, that's not a Fire Force. And you'd be absolutely correct, because if that wasn't a Manta, and that was a Fire Force, then, well, it wouldn't be on the list, would it? Right, the reason why I want the Fire Force is because that's the one vehicle that I had as a kid that I don't have in my collection at the moment. Um, the reason why I have the Manta here is because this is the one vehicle that I have in my collection that I did not have as a kid. So really, it's taken the place of the Fire Force. And if you'd asked me back in the day when I was a kid, do I want to swap my Fire Force for a Manta? I would have probably said yes. To me, the Manta is a much, much better vehicle. Well, maybe, maybe not. The Fire Force being split seconds, you'd get two vehicles for the price of one. But the Fire Force, to my knowledge, never appeared in the TV show, in the cartoon, whereas the Manta was in it nearly every week, in nearly every episode, as one of the main bad guy vehicles. Plus, I had a bit of a crush on Vanessa Warfield. Okay, so there you have the Kenner Fire Force. Now, what will be at number three? Come with me and we shall see. Uh, but before we do, now would be a great time for you to show that you like the video by hitting that thumbs up icon down there. And also, why not subscribe if you're not already subscribed? Okay, number three. And powering in to the number three position, we have the Kenner Centurions. Now, I had two of the main figures back in the day, which were Ace McLeod. <laughs> And Max Ray. And I had a weapons upgrade for both of them, I believe. Now, my brother, slightly younger than me, he had Jake Rockwell. <laughs> Thank you. 
he had Dr. Terror and Hacker and this Strafer. Now, unfortunately, this is the only one that has survived from childhood. The others, everything, and I guess this was also with them, everything was stored in my parents' attic. And then at a time when I thought, hey, I'd like to put that in my collection, they'd all mysteriously disappeared, apart from this one. And I was rather upset because they did all have their boxes as well. Now, whether they've got donated to charity, given to another kid, thrown away or sold, whatever, it's happened. I accept that now, but I would really like to get them back into my collection. Actually, I'd just be happy having an Ace McLeod because he was the first one that I got. But I should be happy that I do still have this guy. I still have the box for this guy. And I also have a little promotional poster that came with the toy. But other than that, no other real centurions. So that's why they're at number three, because there's three of them to get, I guess. Really should be getting Max, Ace, and Jake. Three. Power Extreme. And in at the number two slot, as represented by this rather groovy Palatoy Commando Z Force dude, is the Palatoy Action Force Headquarters, which was a place that I had as a kid and it regularly got played with. It was one of the best toys I ever had. And you could mix it with many different other toys. So obviously you could have the Palatoy Action Force, you could have the G.I. Joe Action Force, you could have a mask in it if you wanted, you could have Star Wars figures going in it, you could even have Britain's army figures going in it. It was very, very adaptable, I guess. Unfortunately, it was made of cardboard, so a lot of examples of it fell to pieces, and I have absolutely no idea what happened to my one. I vaguely remember packing it away when I was in my early teens and storing it up in my parents' attic, and now it's gone. Whether it disintegrated over time or ended up in the recycling bin, got donated to charity or sold or whatever, it's disappeared. But it is one thing that I would love to get back into my collection. I don't really have room for it, but if I got one, I would make room for it because I have so many fond memories of playing with that thing. Right, so there you go. That's number two. And so here we are at number one. And what could possibly be represented by Mr. Obi-Wan Kenobi? Hello there. That sounds familiar. And... Mr. Darth Vader with his broken lightsaber. Your power is a weak old man. Well, it is the Palatoy Death Star. Well, it was the Palatoy Death Star. Woohoo! Plot twist. I changed my mind whilst making the video. The Death Star would be really awesome to have. And it is a bit of a holy grail. I guess it's quite rare. But it's so similar to the Palatoy Action Force headquarters. And I would rather have the headquarters than the Death Star because I had the headquarters when I was younger. So what I've changed it to now is an absolute holy grail, which you can't get unless you're super, super rich. And that would be rocket firing Boba Fett. Oh. What's in the bag? It's a rocket firing Boba Fett. A what? I thought that was something that might be of interest to you. Um... I started collecting because of Boba Fett, because a friend of mine gifted me Power of the Force 2 Boba Fett. So, yeah, it would, it would be nice. I the, the, the myths that surround the rocket firing Boba Fett, does it really exist? Oh, look, someone's bought one for a million pounds or a million dollars. Yeah. Wouldn't it be cool? Wouldn't that not just be cool to have the rocket firing Boba Fett? Can I get you with a flamethrower? Um, yeah, so, look, he even still has the little L-shaped J bit where the, that would be the button to fire the rocket. So, there you go. That is my absolute mythical Holy Grail item. 
the rocket firing Boba Fett? Do you agree? Let me know in the comments. Or should I have stuck with the Palatoy Death Star? So there we go. That was my wish list. What did you make of it? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, well, you're now at the end of the video, you might as well say you liked the video and click the like icon down below. It's the thumbs up button. Yay, thumbs up. And uh, if you're not already subscribed and you've made it to the end of this video, I think you should subscribe so you can see more of my videos. Makes sense, doesn't it, really? You know it does. Also, if you want to see more videos of mine, why not check out this one? It's a really good one. Right, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.